So I think we have a little bit of a gentleman's agreement or a little bit of the bro code happening right now. But we have a Zik v. Zik. This is gonna, you know, I, I like, it. you know, I think they're doing this because they know each other. They're friends. They're gonna cheese each other. And now this, we talked about this map too. This, having these uh, forges in the middle are very high aggression and you don't always want to be the person to attack both forges at the same time. You want to be out there. Oh, and now we're going to be seeing Lomi going in, going in for some aggression. We're getting turned around. And a rewind. And another rewind. So we're going to be pushing for that double forge. That's going to be a lot. Less. Oh, man. He stays upset. He doesn't like it. And he's going to forfeit immediately. <laughs> gave it up. Control the forges. You know what? You, you, I lost you that lost one. It. Let's just move on. Yeah, you know what happens. You lose the forges on that map. It's, it's a foregone conclusion almost. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. The the you never want to be the one to split your forces between the two when you need to focus on just getting one locked down, and then you can focus on possibly taking the second forge. But uh, trying to go for both, you'll generally end up losing both. It's yep. a good call. Absolutely, way to go! All right, so that is Lomi currently in the lead, two zero over Fase in this best of seven series. Lomi only needed to take home two more wins to go home with our first place grand prize, which is again, 14 games and a bunch of other amazing things, including a t-shirt, which is just great. That's just great in general. Anyways, um, I just wanna say thank you to everybody who's tuned in this long. Uh, it has been a fairly long stream today. So I just wanna say kind of just like a thank you um, for everybody who participated up until now um, in our grand final, or excuse me, in our invitational tournaments um, these two are friends, which makes this grand final even more exciting. We have everyone in the lobby, so we're going to jump into Duplex 38 right now, you guys. All right, so they did change their mind, and it looks like they're going <laughs> double Cree. And this is, I think they changed it to duplex four? I think, I think that's the for this I one. I think this is four. So this is going to be another very interesting. I like the respect, and we knew it was coming. When you get into those grand finals between friends, there's a lot of respect, but this also is a fair amount of disrespect at the same time. Because you know they're going to beef at each other post-game. The post tournament, they're gonna be like, "Ah, you trolled me, dude." <laughs> oh, already coming in from first. There's the reinforcements. He had to stall. He stalled them very, very well, and now he's gonna be running in with a big unit advantage. He does have a big unit advantage. Oh wow! And look at that. He's going for the tower instead of the forges right right away. Now gonna be capturing those forges and with the tower lead going back into those forges and turning him around. Yeah, those forges oh, are gone. The forges again. Four forges, five forges. Passe is triggered. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> you know he thought he could cheese him right at the start, but he's, <laughs> he couldn't. He couldn't do it. He didn't follow his own rule. Never be the first to use your abilities. Oh no! Now we got a little bit of invisibility here. I think he's going for those back forges. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. He's going for it. Yeah. Right. Good turn. Good call. Good call. And there it is again. Yep. Now we're going to see those teleport going in. Oh, and he's going <laughs> another GG. Fase going down again. 3 0 lead for Lomi. Is he going to shut out his friend Fase? Is that, is that how it's going to be? It's looking that way. I mean, I don't want to count my chickens too early, but it's looking that way based on how the games have gone. This is going to be this is this is it. This is this has potential to be today's very final game. This could be the last match of the last series of the two best players. I guess technically technically would you would this be the best player the winner of this would be the best player in the mushroom league mushroom Warriors community 
Well, that depends on what metric you want to use. The because... best performed the best in this particular tournament with the best players. Does that really make you the best? <laughs> per se. Anyways, are... you guys, it looks like these guys are ready, so we're going to jump right in. I'll let them discuss that later. So let's jump in to uh, game number four. Lots v. Clots. Got so, so yeah, they, there is definitely an agreement. We're going to mirror each other, and they probably switch off who who picks, I'd imagine. I mean, that's how I would do it. If I'm going to do something like this. Like, what up? I got a big Clots. Man, I'm such a Clots. <laughs> Fall down all the time. Mess it up. Santa Clots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Merry yeah. Christmas. <laughs> all right, you guys. We do have a King of the Hill match. This is going to be a great game. Early Forge. Gotta get an Early Forge. We're going to see that rush from putting the tower in the center. We're going to see some turncoats. These little boys zooming around with no morale. Alright, we're going to get that Forge in the middle of the map. Risky for Fusse. You know, that's, that's quite aggro. Not seeing any turncoats. Is Fusse saving a third? I'm wondering, it's, uh, that's what it's looking like. He could do a uh, uh, casualties and just deal a whole bunch of damage, but I can't. that wouldn't be the best use of his uh, ability meter. All right, so this is going to be one of those games. It looks like they're kind of, they're, you know, they're they're expanding, they're upgrading. We're seeing this. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. no, that's so unlucky. Just swapping that forge out way into the corner. Into yeah, the troops. That is so unlucky. Lomi getting that second in the hill. Oh no! <laughs> Lomi did the same. Going in. Oh, they're kind of trolling each other. That's Just the great play. equalizing factor of clots. Is you never know if you're going to be unlucky enough to have your most valuable position swapped into the enemy's backline. All right, this is unfortunate for Fase though. Now being down, an extra forge, and those forges being so far away. I don't know, the clock's ticking. Lemmy's gotta make a move. Did you say the clock's ticking? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> what about unfortunate? Oh, even better. <laughs> that was a good joke. <laughs> you win the uh, Attila Award. Uh, <laughs> Woo! Yay! You're right, though. Fasay's, his timer is taken down much, much faster than Lomi's here. So we're gonna see that turncoat's coming up from Fasay now. And Fusse sitting on his fourth ability. We're gonna need we're gonna need a strong push from Lomi here because Fusse is more than halfway done. His timer. Okay, is that gonna fourth gonna come out? Or are we gonna see concomitant casualties? What is he doing? Is he going for is he going for a KO? Swap. There's the defense. Swap. Swap. Fourth ability is now gone. Stalling him. Fusse no, not a swap. Fusse is stalling him here. And Lomi running out of time. Here. Big push. Big counter. Huge push. With another forge. Oh, timing his forge into this. There's Concomitant. The he's lost the King of the Hill in the middle, though. That could turn the game. Oh, he's not taking down quite as yeah, fast. Yeah, he's, he's close enough. I think he'll still get it if he can hold on. Yeah, he needs to capture that back number. Numbers are pretty even here, though. Yeah, 25 left. Oh, oh nice no. placement of the tower. Twenty left. Yeah, I he's going gonna for, push it. for it. He's not gonna be enough. I think that's a GG. I Sorry, Dummy. I think you stalled them. I think you stalled them just long enough. One oh. last push. One last push. Three. He's going. No, that's game. Oh. You're right. Ah, <laughs> you got him. You got him. Nice for say. It wasn't a shutout. 3-1, 3-1 for these guys. All right, so Lomi is up 3-1. We're going to be going into game number five here with these friends. Technically game four, but point for five. Point five. So these guys are going to be duking it out again. Although Fusei needs to win three more games in a row and Lomi only needs to win one more match. 
So it's gonna be. I hope. I hope you brought some rope for sake, because you're climbing a mountain right now. <laughs> yes. Oh, the callbacks are great. Uh, <laughs> um, we're gonna be setting up the game, you guys, one more time. Potentially again, the last match, the last round, the, all the last. It's the, it could potentially be the last. Really great game, though, you guys. And then I had a, a long run of very unlucky swaps and realized just just how risky he really was. Very. Because <laughs> it's random position, right? So it's RNG, Supp basically? Supposedly. But I, I swear I had like 10 games in a row where every time my single forge, even if I had like 15 villages, my forge was always what ended up getting swapped. <laughs> Worth it. I don't know if it's weighted or not. Definitely, definitely worth it. All right, you guys, we're going to be jumping into Duplex 15 with Lomi versus Fase going 3-1. Mardios. <gasps> Mardio. You guys Woo! made me so happy. I've been Thank you. <laughs> for Mario's the potentially last game with the only hero we haven't seen today one of them Onk. yeah we still haven't like, gotten there's, a few, yeah, there's quite a few we haven't seen we've pretty Onk much seen a mixture of like five different heroes out of 12. It's yes like, Mario, Mario, but i'm so excited Mario. to see Mario. i love Mario. i think his abilities are uh, i'm to be fair a little bit lackluster but also very useful in uh in a team and the 2v2, Mario is a great teammate to have. This is a good map for him, too. But I think they should try to even out the score and then buck the rules and play Sato for the last game. Also fair. <laughs> Here we go. So we're going to be seeing some nice pushes. Switching into a forge. Switching into a forge. These guys know what they're doing. Going to be capturing those middle towers almost immediately. Oh, the snake might be stronger than the fish. Oh! <laughs> going on? There's a bit of cheese! Lots Turnabout of cheese. is fair play. Here we go. Definitely going to be able to hold on to that. Going to be sending in more units now. Oh, that's... That's, that's, cool. that's tricky. Oof, that's tricky. Where's he going? the back line. Oh, <laughs> back line. You got it, making him invest yeah. units. Yeah, downgrading his, his villages now. Lomi doing a great oh, job. Got it. This is a game of conquest. This isn't this isn't King of the Hill. <laughs> I know they don't even care about the about the uh, King Towers. Pushing in those just moving in on each other. But say trickling, he's trickling. It's enough. Time and time again, you're gonna see Spy. Well, yeah, and Lummy's watching anywhere, anywhere there's a vulnerability, he's gonna send a probe. Oh, I think he knows. Steal, steal, he's got oh, it. Oh, I think he did. Oh, he did. He did. He dug it. And he's got this village. Oh, it's the now the morale flip. Morale. Yep. Lummy's upset. <laughs> <laughs> he's upset he's about that one. Alright, so what's gonna happen next here? What's the play? What's well, the play? Lummy needs to stop the clock, drop that uh, hypnosis on his tower, and shoot it into the king of the hill and make a move to steal it. Uh oh. <laughs> that would have been the opportunity to do it just then, by the way. Oh, oh man. Oh no. They got it's one of his own. Countered. Oh, now he's pushing into that middle tower. I don't think. Can he take it? I don't think he can. He looks it. like Lomi's no, going to hold on to it. King of the Hill Tower, but he holds it. it. Oh, but he keeps going back and forth four times. <laughs> the morale flip. Look at the morale flip. Almost completely oh, yeah. again. Lomi now 
taking an advantage on the morale. I say he's got the unit advantage. Uh, he could, and if he does his hypnosis, there it is. Getting in that middle village again. Gonna go for that northern. The king of the tower. Right, tower. He's able to take it. He's just gonna move in. He's got it. There goes the four. <laughs> four is next. Oh, for say. Oh, he's upset. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I think let me got it. There it is, four stars for worth of morale. That's that's game right there. I think that's game. I think to say is gonna GG it. Yeah. Taking another one for his tower. Another tower. The king of the oh hill. yeah. That's GG. Yeah. There nice it is. Yeah. Very nice turnaround. Very nice turnaround. There it is. Extremely. Well Whoa. done, gentlemen. Very well done. Good show.